hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee, and if you're new here, this is my home, this is my narrowboat. Um, she's actually my second narrowboat and I'm currently renovating her to create a lovely home base. So I've always loved traveling and adventure and to do all of that I need a home base to come back to. So I'm doing up my narrowboat, making her into a beautiful home that I'm going to live in while still traveling over the next few years. So I hope that you will subscribe, follow me on Instagram and join me while I renovate my narrowboat home. Let's get into the vlog. So I thought I would just take you through room by room where I'm at um, as a sort of live real-time update. So if I start off with the bedroom, so as you know the bedroom is pretty much finished. So I've repainted in there, got a new bed, laid it out exactly how I want it. The bed lifts up from the bottom and yeah, it looks, it looks really good. It's a nice peaceful space. Um, I got a few comments from people saying that they reckon I should do the, the bedroom first um, so that it would give me a nice place to relax and that was 100% right. So the bedroom is done. If you haven't seen the bedroom vlog, I'll leave a link to it because yeah, it shows you in detail kind of what I did and I'm really pleased with it. The only thing that I haven't finished in the bedroom is the wardrobe. So I'm not entirely happy with how the wardrobe looks. I think it could be better, but I haven't figured out yet how to make it better. So that's one of the things that I'm going to work on. Um, I would really love a full length mirror. So I was kind of thinking, do I make a wardrobe door with a full length mirror or do I leave it open? I'm not sure. Um, so that's where I'm at with the bedroom. If you go through the boat, so one of the things that I find when I'm watching other YouTubers is you, it's quite hard to get a perspective or to sort of feel how the, the space is in total. So I'm going to try and show you that in this vlog. So the bedroom is behind me at the front of the boat. This is a reverse layout. So it goes bedroom, bathroom, living room slash saloon, dinette and then the galley kitchen. So that's how the layout works. So I'm gonna try and capture that in this vlog so you can really see what it's like. Move into the bathroom. So the bathroom is, again, pretty much done. So I put in a new toilet, I revamped the vanity unit and sort of upgraded the shower by painting the tiles. So I'm really pleased with how the bathroom looks. It's such a functional space, it's a nice room. It's so much bigger in comparison to my last boat. So a couple of things I still have to finish off in the bathroom is the beading around the top of the shower. That's still not done. I haven't come up with a solution for that yet. But in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really make much of a difference to how the space is at the moment. It still functions, it still works. It's really good. So yeah, pleased with the bathroom. After the bathroom, where I'm sitting at the moment is the saloon. So the saloon still isn't finished. So I'm going to show you some clips of how the walls look um, just to my left. So there was like a weird kind of shelf thing on this this part of the wall. Um, so I took that off but in doing so it's like damaged the wall. So I'm going to try and cut that bit out and then put a new piece of ply in and then I can paint this wall and this here is where the sofa is going to go. So having the sofa is going to make a huge difference because these chairs are just not really comfortable and you don't really have the sort of lounge space to watch the telly and things like that. So the sofa's due in at the end of this month. Um, I went for the click and clack sofa from the sofa barn. Andrew, my friend, has one and it's, it's really comfortable. So it just clicks out and it makes a double bed. Um, so that's going to go where I'm sitting. So I've got this wall to finish and then... Everything else pretty much in the saloon is done apart from I still haven't cleaned the, the light fixtures yet. They got paint on them so they need to be done and the window trims, I'll show you a clip of how they look, they, they definitely need some maintenance slash redone. So I'm not really that worried about them at the moment because it's not high up on the priority. So that's kind of where I'm at with the saloon. Moving on to the dinette, the dinette has now been raised so my partner and I over the weekend tried a few different um, heights and things like that. So we've put in a temporary um, dinette situation at the moment just so that we can take the measurements 
to get the foam cut for that. So the dinette is actually going to be so good. I'm really excited to have a fixed working space and dining area. And yeah, what I'm going to do with the dinette is leave one side, I'll show you on the screen, um, to make a single bed. So the boat, when it's done, will be able to sleep five. So it's got the single bed down one side and then it'll have an additional like chair cushion and then foam at the back and like foam around both sides. So that's what I'm going to do with the dinette. I was hoping that I'd be able to get some storage in. So I'm going to see how that's going to work, but I need to get some new wood and then build it like nicer because at the moment it's it's kind of just like mismatched wood and it doesn't look the best. So I also have to paint down the back of the dinette to finish off the dinette in the saloon. So this weekend I need to do some more painting to get it finished. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And once I've got the foam and the dinette finished, I'm going to order a table with the two legs that sit on the floor and that will give a nice big space. So I reckon I could comfortably fit three around the dinette and at a push four. So I don't think I'll have that many more people on board than that. So that's where I'm at with the dinette. The last room for me to do is the galley. So the galley kitchen needs a lot of work. Um, I've been working on it trying to make it more um, organised because it's like a weird kind of layout and space so I need to think about how to best organise things and make things as easy and accessible as possible because I think if things are easy then it's, it's easier to keep clean, it's easier to just be organised in general. Storage things in the galley, um, I'll show you those what I've done so far but I'm hoping over the winter to get new doors because I'm not really changing the carcasses too much or the cupboards. I'm just going to put new doors on, get a new worktop, a new sink, but I'm going to change the location of the sink. So where it is at the moment, I'm going to move it over a bit to give myself like a larger workspace because there's not really much counter space or prep space in the galley at the moment. So that's kind of what I'm working on. So yeah, new worktop, new cupboard doors, and um, what else? New sink, new plumbing. So one of the things in this boat is when you drain out of the kitchen sink, there's like kind of like a little bit of a smell and it's not too bad, but it's, it's not overly nice either. So I'm going to change that, just redo all the plumbing um, and then that'll all be fresh and clean. So yeah, that's the galley. Um, I have put in already the new oven, which I really love because it's eye level, so it's super easy to clean and yeah, I love that. And also a new hob, that's good. Um, a new fridge, I think I showed you that. I would like an additional freezer, so moving forward I'm going to try to get a freezer in somewhere, I don't know where yet, but yeah, putting a new freezer would be good. And a new floor in the um, galley as well, just a piece of lino. So that's where I'm at with that. So I'm briefly going to interrupt this vlog to talk about today's sponsor, which is Jackery. So I'm so excited about this. Um, this is my first sponsor and the product that I've been sent is absolutely brilliant. So this is a 240 watt pure sine wave charger and it also comes with a solar panel. So you can charge it up using the solar panel or the mains charger or you can charge it up from a car charging port. So the reason why I think the Jackery works well on a boat is if you have a situation like I've had recently where you lose power um, so this happened to me because of an electrical fault within the engine bay. So if you lose power, um, for me working at home, it means that I can't work. If my computer runs out of um, charge, that's it. So the Jackery gives me the option to charge my computer and still work, charge my phone, keep my internet going if I, if I do lose power. And for that reason, I think it's really beneficial. It's much easier than having a big generator and having to carry around petrol for that. It's a small compact unit, it's really light, easy to carry around and you can charge it in three different ways. So it's brilliant. So this is how the solar panel comes. You can see it's in a really easy to carry um, design. 
So on the back there's a zip pocket and this is where you can find the USB-A and USB-C charger so you can charge them straight from the solar panel. So I'm just going to unzip this bit and this is where the lead is kept where you would charge the jackery. So I'm just going to plug that in now. Obviously, if I was charging it properly, it would be the solar panel would need to be in the sun, but I would just just showing you this for reference. So when I'm using the jackery on the boat, this is how I charge it. So I put the solar panel on the roof and on the back of the the solar panel, it has these clips that you can just pull out and that's what holds the solar panel upright. You can see these here now. The lead is long enough to go through the window on the boat, but again, I'm just showing you for reference. So even in the overcast conditions like it was today when I was filming this, the jackery still charges. I was quite surprised actually and, and impressed. So you can see from the next clip that the jackery was actually bringing in between 40 and 50 watts of solar which I think was pretty good given that it's overcast. So this uh, device takes around eight hours for a full charge if it's completely empty. If you're interested in purchasing a Jackery, I'll leave the link in the description below. Colleen, what are you doing? Are you a good dog? Are you chasing the flies? Get rid of them for Hugo, eh? Are you gonna get rid of them for him? Come here, I'm not giving you a belly rub. I'm not gonna get a belly rub. Hey, you're gonna get a belly rub. You a good boy? Here's a good boy. Here's a good boy. Where's your toys? Where's your toys? Get your toys. Get it, look, there they are. Get your toys. One of the things I wanted to mention um, was the fly screens. So I've been using the fly screens now for a couple of months and they are so, so good. Um, they are super easy to use. I use them pretty much every day. They are just game changer. When you've got a dog that is literally terrified, Coco, you're shaking the table. They make a huge difference when um, for stopping the flies. There are a couple of flies that get in because I couldn't get one made for the back door, unfortunately, because the back door is quite narrow. I couldn't get a frame on for the fly screens, which was a real shame. Um, because if I could have, I would have got one for sure. So yeah, the fly screens are brilliant. The other thing I wanted to mention that's working so well is the solar. So as you know, I got two 370 watt solar panels and the battery monitor and the charge controller and it's so good. I had hardly have to run the engine at all for power. In fact, I don't. I know it's summer and in the winter um, I probably will. The only thing I need to run the engine for at the moment is hot water because there's no other heating source. So a couple of jobs that I do need to still do is the central heating in the inside of the boat. I'm going to do a separate vlog about how the outside of the boat's getting on. But for the inside of the boat, I need to do the central heating so what's involved in that is a new control unit and header tank and accessories. I'm going to hopefully keep the existing chlorifier tank because they're quite expensive. They're about 500 pounds for a new one. So I'm hopefully going to keep the existing one and um, hopefully keep the existing radiators, but may not, they might not be strong enough to cope with the Obasto. Um, so I'm not sure about that. And for inside, so I've got the kitchen to do as well, which I mentioned, the central heating and finishing the painting and then sort the dinette and that's pretty much it for the inside. And then like I mentioned, I'm going to do a separate vlog on the outside of the boat because there's quite a lot of work that needs done on the outside of the boat. So uh, this vlog will be too long if I do it all in one, and possibly, you don't want to listen to me for hours and hours. Um, so that's it for this vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think, if you like what I've done, if there's anything you think I should change. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Bye!